Hey everyone, how's it going and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you're notified of all my upcoming videos. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back and thank you for watching. This is Halloween video number two, technically number three if you're on my Facebook and you saw my mini little nail tutorial. Um, I didn't, I said I didn't know how much I was gonna put out because my life is crazy busy. However, I wanted to go ahead and do this for a number of reasons. One, I really wanted to get rid of this CoverGirl eyeshadow uh, that I've had forever. And it kind of gave me an idea to do something with like, like a green face. So as you can see in the intro, I am doing like a masquerade witch. So I want, I saw this idea like just kind of flipping through Pinterest and um, I didn't see one that did like a masquerade look. It was more like um, I saw something here, I saw something there, I kind of mashed them together. And I noticed that with people, masquerade is like a thing, like they really love it. Um, especially if you've ever gone to a masquerade party and you wear those annoying masks and they just go down, like they're, they're either made of metal or they're made of, um, like crocheted knitting material um, and they just fall and they just get tied up in your hair so it's just so much easier to just kind of like paint it on your face so I was like oh what about um, a witch that like is going to a masquerade ball and like her mask is like a cobwebs so I'm like okay well so I came up with this idea and let's see how this pans out today all the products I'm using if you have something similar, use that. Don't go out and buy something if you see me use it. A lot of my stuff is old, um, stuff that I wanna get rid of, and you know, this is probably the, like the last time I'm ever using it. So let's jump right into the tutorial. And here we go. I am using the Z Skin Winter Skin Hydrating Spray because my skin is so angry with me right now with all these looks that I've been doing. I'm now using my Hard Candy 12 Hour Sheer Primer Think it's lift and firm and again going over with foundation using the lightest color I have because I really want that green color to pop and show and I'll explain why in a minute I did get the wet and wild paint palette neutrals and I'm using that green color there to put on the green face now the reason why I wanted to use the lightest color foundation is because this product is very thin and I had to go over it a few times and I'm totally speeding this up because it took me forever so if you have something like Snazaru face paint definitely use that the only thing is making that green color that witchy green color so if you have any other products in mind that you like to use definitely use that here I'm using a foundation brush. I later on use a beauty blender, but starting out you want to use the foundation brush because you don't want the product to be absorbed too much. You want to put a lot of that product on your skin. And then I'm using the beauty blender to go ahead and even it out as much as possible. When I tell you I hit pan on this product after two uses, I definitely hit pan on this product. So I am using that old CoverGirl eyeshadow and I broke it up. So that's what I was saying there, break it into like powder, like loose powder, and you're going to want to set that in if you are using the Wet n Wild paint palette that they came out for the 2018 Fantasy Makers um, collection this year. If you see any fading areas, take your Beauty Blender, apply more of that green product and just pat it on, it'll fill it right in.
You're going to see a little shift in light because I had to close my curtains. The roofers came and I didn't want them peeking into my window. So I'm sorry about that. Here, I'm just doing my eyebrows by making it a little thicker than usual. I am just using my gel black eyeliner for this. Okay, so here I'm using the Wet n Wild Green Multi Stick and I'm applying this on my eyelids as a primer. And this really did the job with the eyeshadow. Like it made the color stand out, pop more, metallic y. It looked, looked wonderful. So use this as your primer. I'm only applying this on my lower lids, um, I'm not applying this throughout the entire eyelid. I am now using this entire green section and you have to have at least one big multi colored palette and I'm using that dark color there to apply with a flat packing brush on my lower eyelid. I'm just going to condense that all on on top of the green multi stick that I used as my eyeshadow primer. This did a great job on top of the multi-stick. I got many more ideas for the multi-stick that I wanna use later on, but here it was like, it did wonders with this eyeshadow. So make sure you have like a dark green eyeshadow. Uh, you're gonna do like a smoky green eyeshadow look. Now going in this, with this army green looking color, I'm going to use a crease brush and apply this along my crease. I'm going to actually blend in the darker color and this army sagey green color together um, so I can just like blend it out and smoke it out more. Okay, so the lighting on my camera is terrible on this and that. It's kind of like a, a light green, metallic-y green color. And I'm highlighting my brow bone with this color. This smoky eye makeup look was very, very, very simple. It's just three colors. That's all I used for my eyes. Come to think of it, I think that's really the only colors I used for the entire look. Here, I'm just applying that same light green color on the inner corners of my eye. To darken my outer V a bit more, I'm taking that same dark color I applied on my eyelids and just applying, blending that a little bit on my outer V, just to give it a nice transition from dark to light as it goes into the inner corners of your eye. Because you know a witch has to have good highlights. I am using this gold color here in this palette and applying this as I would do like my highlight concealer in the same areas. So. Um, underneath my eyes, up to my temples, the middle of my nose, between my eyebrows, my cupid's bow, and my chin. Same exact way, just different color. Now taking that same dark green eyeshadow I used on my lids, I'm applying this 
as my contour. So I'm using a uh, blush brush or a contouring brush and I'm just applying the same areas to contour my face, hollowing out my cheekbones. I do a little bit on my forehead. Um, of course, I do down the sides of my chin, underneath the chin, kind of curve out that double chin effect that I have going on currently. <laughs> and um, just making sure that I just look as witchy as possible. I decided to smoke out my eyes a bit more on my lower lash line. I'm bringing down that same dark green color to my lower lash line. Now going in with my gel eyeliner by Maybelline, I am going to line the top, the top of my lash line um, this, and give myself a little wing. This is just to make my lash line look a bit thicker. Even though I am putting falsies, this does help. And I'm also going to line my lower lash line as well. To blend out that uh, eyeliner and the shadow, I'm just smoking it out using um, a small rounded brush. And here I go with my, my wing liner. I don't know, I was like all over the place with my order. Kind of thrown off by the roofers, I think. <laughs> so you're probably wondering why I pulled this mask out. I am definitely not using it. I'm using it as a guide to actually put dots on certain places of my face high points and low points of the mask to make sure it's proportionate if you do not have one no big deal freestyle as much as you can it's halloween folks it doesn't have to be perfect and now i'm going to connect the dots so i'm trying to think more like cobwebby look um i'm just winging it at this point um the dots were really my guide there was a point on the lower part underneath my eyes i thought it was too high i did make it a little low to make sure that it gave uh, my, my face is kind of weird in that area so I wanted to put it lower on my cheek so that's what I did um, just do what you can I mean pull out a picture of cobwebs and just copy like it's just lines and um, connecting them that's all it is I'm going to me at one point I was thinking oh my god this looks like Batman and then I was like oh my god this is like the spider-man like face painting look um so I was really trying to avoid that so I just went ahead and just tried to make it more as spooky as possible but it was kind of funny because I literally thought at one point I was like okay great I have a Batman mask on I'm not going to lie this took a lot of time but good looks take time so take your time don't freak out about any mistakes. Um, it was really easy to fix with just the green um, paint and a brush and it was really easy to eliminate. My original idea was to use like little green gems and then when I pulled out my box of gems, they're huge. So I decided to go ahead and use my Ulta Beauty Glitter Tears. And if you have a gold glitter uh, gel liner, you can use that. You'll find them all over the place right now at Walgreens and Walmart. They're going to get rid of their Halloween stuff like starting tomorrow, people. So um, go ahead and grab that. 
just follow the pattern of your design of your mask. It really is that simple. To finish off this witchy masquerade look, I'm going in with Wet n Wild's Liquid Catsuit in the color Emerald Envy. This color is absolutely gorgeous. I think I'll use this color for like another event other than Halloween. Um, and it stayed on very well. It compares to the Kylie lip kit for sure. This felt like second skin on my lips. I had no complaints. As you can see, I applied my false eyelashes already. So I just got to top this off with my wig and my hat and I'm good to go to the ball, baby. The haunted ball, that is. And that is a wrap for Halloween 2018. I really hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you did, please make sure to give me a big thumbs up. Have a happy and safe Halloween, everyone. Stay sassy, sexy, and sophisticated. And I'll be seeing you on the next one.